Hey everybody, welcome to another Wasabi Wallet Instructional. Today we're going to look at how to receive Bitcoin. So you can see here that I've created a brand new wallet. I've called it Wallet Test 1. I have zero Bitcoin on my balance and there are no transactions. So the only thing we can do is receive Bitcoin. So I'm going to go up here to the top right corner and click this receive button and that's going to generate an address with which we can receive Bitcoin. So when I click on the receive button, a window will pop up and it'll say enter the names of the persons or companies who you will give this address to. So in Wasabi Wallet, it's mandatory to give every address a label of the observers who know about this address so that later you can know where you got the coin from. Now, there may be multiple observers, so you can enter multiple labels. For this instructional, I just created a test wallet that can only receive test net bitcoins, which have no monetary value. You can get these coins from what's called a Bitcoin testnet faucet. So I'm going to add the label faucet and then click continue. So here we have a window that contains our address with which we can receive Bitcoin. You'll notice that it says an unused receive address, which indicates that you've never used this address before. Address reuse is generally not something that you want to do because it's less private. There's a QR code, so if you're sending from a phone, you could just scan that. And there's also an option to save the QR code to your computer. Um, this button in the bottom right corner, you just click there, and then you could save it. Uh, below the QR code is your actual address and the label that we created earlier. So I'm going to copy this address to my clipboard by clicking the button just to the right of the address. And one thing I like to do once I copy the address to my clipboard is just to paste it into another note to verify that the address on my clipboard is the same as the displayed address. So I've opened up a note. I'm just going to paste it in there and then I'm going to go just character by character and make sure that they match. And once I verify that they're the same address, I'm going to close out of this and click OK. So you can see now that I have some Bitcoin in my wallet. Um, it's this transaction right here. You see the balance here. Um, it was an incoming transaction. The labels, the date, time, um, and then these icons to the left, it shows that it was a transaction. Uh, the confirmation is still pending. And if I click on the show details, um, it's just more details about the transaction. Um, and here's the transaction ID, which you could go look up on um, a block explorer. But I'm going to click done. And yeah, that's basically all there is to receiving Bitcoin in your Wasabi wallet. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later.